today we're kicking it old school on Sunday Gun Day. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today we're taking a look at the James River Armory BM-59. For this video I've partnered up with Classic Firearms and this rifle is currently available through them so if you want to learn more about the specs in more depth I will leave a link to their site in the description down below. Now let's get into this thing. The BM-59 is an Italian-made semi-automatic rifle based off of the M1 Grand. After World War II, Italy adopted the M1 Grand and had Beretta overhaul the entire gun to be chambered in 7.62x51 or 308 NATO. Where the M1 used clips, the 59 has been modified to accept 20-round box mags. This gun served as the main battle rifle in the Italian Army until the early 80s, and believe it or not, this thing is still being issued in the Italian Navy today. Technically, this is considered a new rifle, however, this version of the 59 from James River should be viewed as more of a restoration. While the receiver and barrel on these rifles are new, everything else was built using original parts from either the M1 Garand or vintage parts from Beretta. When you take a closer look, you may find nicks and scratches here and there because these rifles are built to keep the original finish on these parts intact. The stocks are generally refinished and all of the reused parts are inspected, cleaned, and function tested to keep everything running smoothly. Out of the box, the BM-59 comes with a hard shell case, a 20 round magazine, an old school cleaning kit, and an information packet to give you a quick rundown of the history and functionality of the gun. This thing also has some cool extra features like a folding bipod for steady long range shots, a bayonet lug, a rifle grenade launcher with sights to match, I wish that was something I could actually test during this video, and even a winter trigger which flips down allowing you to shoot easier with gloves on. Overall, it's a pretty neat package, and I really like how James River stuck with original parts to keep this thing as close to historically accurate as possible. I have yet to sight this thing in, or even fire it for that matter, so let's head to the range and see what this thing can do. Alright, out here at the range, ready to shoot. I set up about a 100 yard shot behind me. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to shoot any further than that today. This thing can definitely stretch its legs way further than 100 yards. I've seen videos of this thing shooting out to like 600 plus, but we're dealing with what we got. Maybe in the future I will bring this gun out again as well as some of my other rifles and do a long range video. This rifle was designed to shoot NATO 147 grain ball ammo, so that's exactly what I got. The extraction system on this is way faster and more aggressive than the M1 grand, so it has a tendency of ripping the rim off of soft commercial brass. NATO brass, on the other hand, is much harder, so I'm hoping this thing is going to cycle without any issues. Now I have no idea where this thing is going to be hitting on paper or if it's even going to be hitting at all, so let's see if I can get this thing dialed in. Alright, first mag impression, this thing is like a mini cannon. It's loud, it kicks, but the recoil is really smooth. I was kind of surprised with the weight of the gun and the actual weight of the bolt, the whole action moving back and forth. I thought it would kick a lot harder. This butt stop is definitely old and repurposed, so it's kind of hard, but surprisingly it was pretty comfortable. As you can see, this thing was shooting a little bit low, but the grouping is pretty good, especially for someone like myself. I think all I have to do to get it dialed in is just turn up the elevation a couple clicks and I should be right in the sweet spot. The trigger is definitely really nice, no complaints there at all. It ran that full 20 round mag, no issues at all, bolt locked back. Let's keep shooting this thing and see what else it can do.
Well, I had some fun shooting out there today, so what are my final impressions of the BM-59? I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this gun. Obviously, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm into new modern firearms, stuff that I can modify pretty heavily, things of that nature. This is my first historic military-style weapon that I have in my collection, so I'm pretty happy with it. I ended up putting about 60 rounds through it, and if you check out my target, the first 20 rounds were all a little bit low. After 40, we brought it up a little bit more, and then finally, with the last couple, we were right in there on the sweet spot. Now I was only shooting at about 100 to 150 yards and like I said this thing can stretch its legs way further than that. However for just putting down some quick rounds I can definitely tell that this thing can be very accurate. The action and recoil on this thing really impressed me. It's really smooth and not as heavy as you might think. The muzzle brake definitely had a lot to do with that. A nice brake like this coupled with a big round like that it really helps when it comes to mitigating recoil. The iron sights were all right. Really nothing good or bad to say about that. I'm sure if I had a little bit more time I could get this thing dialed in pretty nicely. This thing cycled every round really well. The magazine gave me no issues at all. It actually locked back after each empty magazine as well. All of the extra added features were really a nice touch. The bipod definitely came in handy and I even did some shooting with the winter trigger. Even though I wasn't wearing gloves this thing was fun and different to shoot with because it gives you a lot of extra leverage on on the trigger. Speaking of the trigger, this thing is actually very nice. Let me take the safety off. The take up is pretty light and then the wall is a bit heavier so you can pull it right back to the wall till it stops. Just a bit more pull. Nice clean break. For as old as this rifle is, I really wasn't expecting that to be that smooth, but that's definitely a highlight of the gun. So overall, definitely a really unique rifle to add to my collection. If you guys have any questions about this, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see if I can answer them as best as I can. Now, for the good stuff. As I said, I've partnered with Classic Firearms to bring you guys this video, and now they want to give away a BM-59 just like this to one of you guys. Classic is always running giveaways on their site, about two per month, two weeks at a time. So if you go down to my link in the description below, you can enter for your chance to win one of these. As you guys know, I do like taking care of my loyal subscribers, so if you do sub here, you'll find an option for extra bonus entries. This contest will be running from right now when the video is live through November 1st, so go down and get your entries in while you can. A huge thank you is due to Classic Firearms for allowing my viewers for a chance to win this beautiful gun. You can check out their channel right here for daily videos of all the cool products that they have coming into their warehouse. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos about stuff and things every week, and also consider turning on notifications so you don't miss any cool giveaways like this in the future. That is all for today. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.